Hi guys, it's Paula Torresano and I'm here with another video. Um, today's video is going to be about me switching a phone because <clears throat> so my phone, I was talking to my sister on my phone yesterday. It was already broken a little bit like this is my son's phone. It was broken um, over here at the top a little bit. It was cracked and then I was doing laundry yesterday and uh, I had it leaning against the laundry detergent while I was putting things in the washer and uh, it fell down and it cracked. It like cracked even more so um, my phone broke. Well, I, or I already ordered, because of the one crack going down the screen, I already ordered another phone and um, it just happened to crack more uh, yesterday. Um, so let's get into the video. I'm going to show you, I bought a phone case, I bought a new phone, and yesterday me and my son shared this phone. It's his. I have to take my um, Net 10 card out of, out of it. So I'll show you guys how to do some of that stuff. Okay, first I'm gonna, this is the box that the new phone came in. I bought it on, um, I bought it at Walmart and it cost me a hundred, like $136 for the phone. It's purple and I'm excited because I love purple. So let's open her up. First when you take out the phone, I'm not going to open the phone yet. Um, Fully functional eraser, successful Samsung Galaxy S9. So yeah, this is the Samsung Galaxy S9, 64 gigabytes, new with battery. Um, my son has the Galaxy S S9 as well. His is black, and it's it's a pretty nice phone. The cool thing about it is that the sides are like slanted. So that's kind of cool. In the box itself, you get this little this little thing, and I love this thing because this thing helps you so much. So it's like a grabby thing for um, opening the slots that have holes in the phone, like where your memory card goes, your phone card, a lot of other stuff. So this little guy came with it. My son also has one of these from years ago I saved it because I really like these things and they don't come with all the phones so it's nice to have one. Then you get the the actual um, receipt for your phone so I will save that somewhere. Okay and then let's see it comes with a charger and that's it. So let's start opening these things up. I'm just one, okay, it's a totally different charger than my other Galaxy. So the last phone I had that broke was a Galaxy, it was a Galaxy AS10. AS10, Galaxy AS10. Okay. Let me take this out, the charger first, and I'm fine that it's black, it doesn't, my last one was white, it's still in the wall in the kitchen, it was white. I'm going to save it just in case, it's a totally different charger on the bottom though, so I need, I need the new charger. This one isn't going to work for that, but it'll work for a lot of other electronics we have, so I'm not going to throw it out, I'm just going to take it out of the wall because that's my little spot for my uh, phone charger. <laughs> All right, let's open this up and get rid of the garbage. So it's just a little nice block. It's nice. I'm going to hook it up. Wait, it's not, something's not going in. Okay. It wasn't going in. I'm like, no! Factory defect. All right. So that is, that is the charger. 
I'm already going to put it in the wall. There we go. And now let's open up the phone itself. Wow, okay, it's protected by plastic and stuff. Cool. Um, so I'm going to save the box. <clears throat> and I'm going to write phone receipt on it. Just because it's got like the receipt and the instructions. So I'm going to write phone, phone box, which I don't like saving boxes, but that one I'm going to save. All right, so we got the phone out of the thing. Let's take the plastic off. Wow. Let's take the other plastic off. It's beautiful. It says Galaxy S9. It's exactly like my son's, only the girly version, you know? It is really nice. Wow. It's got like a plastic thing that's uh, protecting it and stuff. Huh? Thought I just heard something outside. Okay, so... I also bought a beautiful phone case. Isn't that so pretty? It's got like blues, a little bit of purple, because I want something to protect my phone. And my sister actually made a good point yesterday. I should find a, um, like a, a clear protector for the front of the phone. But, okay. So this was $9 and look at how pretty it is. It's super pretty. I'm going to show you. You can't really see because of the plastic. You can't see that good because of the plastic. Let me take it out and I'll show you. Please, uh, didn't come. See, sometimes it'll be hidden, like the front protector. But on this one, it wasn't, which kind of sucks. But so this is the actual case. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so we're going to have to... Does it come off or not? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, yeah, so you got to take it off. You got to take it off and then you got to... You got to like take the two parts apart. Now, before we put the case on, I am going to use that, this thing, take my card out of my son's phone and put it into my phone. So, first I'm going to turn off his phone. Okay, I turned off his phone. I pressed that thing down. See, he's got two cards in there. The white one is mine and the black one is his memory card. I'm going to take the little... Woo! It fell down. I'm going to take the white one out. Keep his in. Close it. Okay, now we're going to power the phone back on. Okay. Now I can leave his phone alone for right now. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is... We're going to open up mine. It's got two slots. We have to put it in there. You got to have really small fingers. That's my little card. 
and then we put it in the phone. Okay, now we're going to start it up. You just hold the button on the side. And it'll turn on, and we're going to do the settings and stuff. I'm going to keep my little metal thing in there, just in case I ever have to take my card out of this phone. I'm going to throw this garbage out while it's starting. All right, SIM card changed. Restart your phone to start using your new SIM card. Okay, so we have to restart anyways. It's making us restart. Okay. It's restarting. Kind of excited about the phone. I thought it was going to come in Monday, like I said, but it didn't, so. I was going to turn the light on, but it's fine. All right, I see the Sam Samsung logo. Starting Android is loading. All right, it says, let's go. This is going to be, I'm going to have to set up the um, whole phone. So let's start. We're going to do it in English. Accept all the terms of the agreement. I am going to sign into our Wi-Fi. Connect. Make sure it connects to the Wi-Fi. We are connected. Activate your device. Please wait while we activate your device for network service. This may take several minutes. Registering the device with the registering the device with the network. It says activation incomplete whatever I don't think that's true sometimes it gets a little screwed up I'm pretty sure copy apps and data you can choose to transfer your apps don't copy I don't know where it would copy it from anyways maybe the old phone Okay, Google. Google is Palakaitorasano at Palakaitorasano at gmail.com. Okay. So I'm signing into my Google because I want my YouTube to work and stuff like that. <clears throat> it's getting my account information. Check out what's trend trending with the Google Assistant. Make a phone call, tell me a joke, set a reminder. Okay. Back up to Google Drive. Use location. Allow scan. Allow apps and services to scan for privacy. Okay. Protect your phone. I don't want a um, pin or anything like that. My son chose to have a pin on his, like a four number code before you get into your phone. But I, I didn't want one, so. Review additional apps. All of apps will be downloaded over Wi-Fi. Samsung calculator. Galaxy wearable. 
Samsung has. Okay. This may take a few minutes. Okay. Samsung account. Sign in to get top games from the um, I don't remember if my Samsung account was my Gmail email or my AOL email. Incorrect ID or password. All right, let me try something else. Follow to our channel at AOL.com. All right. It's still saying incorrect ID or password. Okay, so let's try the Gmail one. Okay, it was the Gmail one. Welcome to your Samsung account. Okay. Enter the code we sent to your other Galaxy devices. Really? Skip two steps. Oh, the code broke. That sucks. Well, this is going to piss me off a little bit. Enter the code we sent to your other Galaxy device. Use another number. Okay, this is not happening. That's fine. All right, so now my phone is loading. Completing setup. It's going to complete a bunch of... Um, it's going to complete a bunch of um, apps and stuff. Zero out of 13 apps is completing. That's what the second thing is saying right there. So we're going to just let that download and I'm going to, I'm going to put, um, our, our thing on, our case on. So we're going to slide her in. The phone looks nice and safe in there. It goes right in. 
and then our last step is to put the other case on too. All right, our case is on. Now I'm going to make sure my buttons are working correctly. Oh, it's like really gentle by touch. What? Don't make it move around. It's like really gentle. Google needs to be up here because that was weird. I'm not used to that. Bixby Home gives you the information you need when you need it from the apps you know and love. Okay. Sign into Bixby Home content that's tailored to your needs and interests. Hmm. Bigsby Home. Very interesting. All right, so it's completing the setup and everything. I'm going to let it do that. All my buttons work and everything. Oh, I want to make sure my contacts came through. My contacts didn't come through. That's not good. Okay, I need my contacts. So I'm going to take off the case. Something didn't work. I have to take it apart. Sorry. Well, that kind of pisses me off because the contacts didn't go through. God. Hope I don't break my case. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I need that thing again because my card has my contacts on it. That I know for sure. <clears throat> I'm not even going to turn off my phone. I'm just going to take this out. Put it back in. Double tap the clock. I need my contacts. Finish, finish setting up your Galaxy S9. I'm 
I'm kind of sad my contacts aren't in there. Something's wrong. I might have to put my card in my son's phone and then write down the numbers. That might be a good idea. I don't know why it's not. Doing it by itself. It should, the contacts should be right in there. That's kind of stupid. Google, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except, skip, skip anyway. Yeah, my contacts aren't in here. Activation not completed. Select picture. Um. I'm going to restart and see if that does anything. Because I need my contacts. Like seriously, I need my contacts. So I'm restarting it to see what happens. It gave me all the um it gave me all my contacts uh on my son's phone, so I wanna see please wait while we activate your device for network service. This may take several minutes. While well, we activate your device for network service. Maybe because the network isn't connecting my my um my uh contacts haven't went in there. Registering the vi the device with the network. Like I won't have my tenants phone numbers or anything, my parents or nothing. I only remember a couple phone numbers by memory. I don't remember everybody's phone number. That's bullshit. Registering the device. It's taking forever. I didn't think it would take this long to uh, hook up the hook up the phone. I really didn't. Button order, quick panel layout. All right, all right. <clears throat> I mean, we have Wi-Fi in the house, so I don't understand why it's not working. It's kind of stupid. Please contact your service provider to activate, activate your device for service. Activation incomplete. Hmm. Why? Please contact your service provider to activate your device for service. What the fuck? 
It's just pissing me off. What's up, buddy? It's me. Oh, what's up? I'm just making sure my phone works. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. That's kind of shitty. It didn't, um, Amadan. I am wondering why it keeps saying that. Yeah, like this is really pissing me off because my contacts didn't load. All right, we're going to turn this off. It's always something with these phones, you know what I mean? It's always something. Which is kind of dumb, but whatever. <clears throat> oh, shit. I just blew off a bunch of my paperwork off the table. Okay. I am going to... Really? Hey. Ow, hey. Alright, so my sister's calling and I'm just going to train... So basically my phone's turned back off. Or it's turned back on, but... um. I just have to copy my contacts and stuff, and then after that, I'll just put the case on, and my phone's set to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down or what you thought. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.